wasn't surprising to me when there was a problem here, and I came today just to find out what's going on. I'm really curious about this process. We've tried to educate our voters back home that if you have questions about your ballot, you need to ask us before you ask so we're removing the PED. I think it may be voter disgust. My guess is that it's more that than his ballot design. When I went to vote in Sarasota County, the poll worker warned me about page two, and she said at the top of the page there is an election that's easy to miss. So make sure you pay careful attention to page two, top of the page. And um, when I got to page two, I saw that was the congressional race. And I, did, I understood what this poll worker was talking about, because it actually looked more like a headline than it looked like um, a vote. What is it about the design of this one? Well, my, well, my understanding was, and I haven't seen the ballot, but my understanding was it was the top of the page, second page, uh, and I guess underneath the heading that people didn't see, and probably it would go U.S. Senate you know, page one, congressional uh, 13, and then governor. My guess and is that's what she had. So I guess people automatically focused on the governor's race, didn't bother paying attention to the, uh, to the congressional race, and moved on. When the poll worker said that, it made me curious um, about how much of a problem this had been. I mean, I, I voted on Election Day, and so I wondered, you know, with people voting early, if um, that had come up as a problem quite a few times, and I assumed that it must have for her to have brought it to my attention. I went to the polling places at the headquarters of the Supervisor Elections in Sarasota, in the courthouse mm -hmm. building, on October 24th, between 8, 8.30 and 10.30 in the morning, and I was directed to a, to a touch screen machine. The first time I'd ever used touch screen, so I was being very careful with it. With ballot design, you still have, the voter has responsibility to look at their ballot. So, I went to the touch screen uh, box, and I went through the screens as they were presented to me. No problem, until I got to the summary, and at the end it said, you have expressed no preference in Jennings versus Buchanan. I, I'm shocked. Whoa! I never saw the screen. The, the voter has responsibility to make sure their ballot is voted the way they want it voted before they, they vote that ballot or cast that ballot. So I went to a poll worker, a nice nice man, I think he's in his 60s, standing there, and I said, Sir, I'm having a problem. It says I expressed no preference, but I never saw the screen. Quote, unquote, he goes, that happens a lot. Zero, one, zero, eight, zero, eight, zero, dash, eight. Well, then what do we have to compare against? Nothing. Other than I can go pull up another unit and I can show you that congressional district is on that ballot. So I said, well, what do we do about it? He says, well, here, let me show you. And he was very practiced at this. He showed me how to go back to and find the screen, Jennings versus Buchanan, which I did. I pressed, I cast my ballot for Jennings. And this time I went back, and of course went back to the summary, and I scrutinized it extra, extra carefully at this point. So you saw or you didn't see it? You know you made the choice, or you chose not to make a choice? And I saw that I had kept, that it now recorded my vote for Jennings. Cast my ballot, walked away, this is fine, I didn't think anything of it. A random, isolated incident happened to me, okay? Until, two days before the election, the newspaper reported that a lot of people were having problems voting for Jennings. Now, theirs was a little bit different story. They would vote for Jennings, and then they would get the summary, and then it would say, if you have not, you have not expressed a preference. So, when voters say, well, I didn't see it, well, you have a responsibility when you get into the ballot review process, and it will not let you cast the ballot until you review it. So what was happening here was that unless you checked your summary carefully, you might miss this. Right. right. So the burden seemed to be on Jennings voters to have to check the summary. I'm sorry, on these, I don't think you have to review it, do you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And on, and on our ballot, there are three review pages. If you got on the first review page, you still could not cast your ballot. If you got on the second review page, you could not cast your ballot. If you got on the third review page, you could cast your ballot. And of course, this race, being on top of the ballot, was, was, was on the first review page. So you could not have cast your ballot until you had a chance to review it. So at that point, I sent an email to Kathy Dent, Supervisor of Elections, to the report some paper, and I said, I call for an investigation, an independent investigation in this, because there's two ways we can think. We can think the sinister, which is that somebody might have hacked into the system, and they see that if you vote for Davis beforehand, 
Well, you're not likely to vote the straight Republican ticket, so why don't, you know, let's just see if they can skip the, the screen for Jennings versus Buchanan. That makes some partisan sense in that you don't want to hack the Davis Christ race. Everybody knew Chris was going to win. You don't want to hack the Nelson Nelson um, uh, Nelson Harris race. Everybody knew Nelson was going to win. But Jennings Buchanan was close. So if you can if you can switch a few votes in Sarasota for that, you might you might have some effect. On the other hand, if it was just the case that the screen wasn't being presented, that's wrong too. Mm -hmm. You know that sh that's, that should be fixed. I never heard back from Kathy Dent, of course, you know, and, and maybe she's been busy. That, there's a good reason for that. But that's, I called for that. I called for an independent investigation. Are these the two possibilities that you're All right, that's, are that, 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 the serial numbers, numbers and it should those be are my two seven, eight. So then the election day happened. My girlfriend goes to visit and goes to vote in a different precinct, precinct 39. The screen never came up for her either. So at this point now I'm thinking, well, you know, there, there are a lot of problems. And then we read that in Sarasota County, 13% of people chose not to express a preference in this race, a high profile race, when only 2% in the surrounding counties chose not to express a preference. Hey, have you heard anything or some voters that talk about pressing the X, seeing the X, calling a poll worker over the witness of the X, not showing up at the review screen? Here in Penn, and, 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 yeah, in no, I don't, I'm not aware of that.